Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Reality Stuff on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the host of this particular program, known here on YouTube and many other places as the Mighty, 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 mm. and your snub up seven, your brother, and hopefully your friend. Talik Ibn Ra. I remember not long ago when I was a child in school and for those who have listened to my videos I am sure that you heard me say this before that as a child, I used to spend hours upon hours drawing the American flag. When I was a child going to school, before the school day began, we would say the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America. And I would draw the stars and the stripes. And as a child, I felt so good to be part of a country that I heard was so great. But then I began to learn that this country that I am a citizen of and I was taught so brave, so great. It was great, but I began to learn that this nation called the United States of America. I started to say United Snakes of America. <laughs> I'm getting used to saying the United Snakes of America. And as a child, I began to learn that this country was great but it is wickedly great and immoral unrighteous wicked place whereas in the scriptures it says that this nation has become a habitation of devils a place of every foul and filthy bird and if I did not know any better and if I lived in a land, if my mind was delusional, I would believe the amber ways of grain and the stories of George Washington chopping down a cherry tree. I shall not take tell a lie and all this bull and the pretty story about the pilgrims, all fabricated lies told to children. And as adults, we continue to believe these fabricated, manufactured lies when the truth of the matter is this nation was built on slavery. It was built on deception. It was built on rape, murder, theft, genocide. So evil, so wicked within the country itself. The people are drunks. The people are pedophiles. The people are dope fiends. The people are porn addicts. The people are gender confused. The scriptures, those of you who believe in scriptures, but you don't want to believe this is your nation, this is your country. It is a place for every foul and filthy bird. It has become a habitation of devils. And anywhere on the earth where people want to do unrighteous behavior, where they want to do what they want to do, they want freedom. Then they bring their nasty, vile, profane, wacky backside to the United Snakes of America. Because in America, as long as you want to do something filthy, as long as you want to do something unnatural, you can come here and do as you please. And all this is embraced. And then they have the nerve when you want to stand up for your rights as a gender-confused person. They have a 
the nerve to deny you the right to be married, but it is all right for you to practice your behavior. What difference do it make? So here is America, the so-called beautiful. And whenever America gets to the point where it seems that they have the world under control because America believes it is the police for the world. It believes that everybody on the planet supposed to be like the United Snakes of America, that everybody on the planet supposed to be like Europeans, supposed to become just like what the Europeans have built, this civilization. What you have and what your ancestors have passed down to your generations don't mean nothing because it's not it's not good enough for this life it is frowned upon and looked upon as uncivilized and savage behavior by those who are in power those who are loyal and patriotic to a lifestyle that was created on murder and bullying other people. So now you have the United Snakes of America. Now you have this nation. For just a little while, it believed it had this planet under control. All of a sudden, here comes protest once again. The burning of the American flag. Death to America. All over. When we thought they thought, I'm not part of the conspiracy. I'm not part of this policy of wickedness. And speaking of policy and wickedness, you have those who are patriotic to America. You have those who love America. And the president of the United Snakes always get before the people. And they always talk, these presidents, and these senators and these Congress people, whoever, they always tell the American people about America's vital interests. And I ask you, patriotic, loyal American, what is America's vital interest? You can go out on the street and ask these patriotic, loyal Americans, what is America's vital interest and they cannot tell you because they don't know but they support it they support their leadership and you don't even know what your leaders are doing the leadership of America always talk about Americans America's foreign policy what is America's foreign policy they don't know. You don't know. You don't know what America's vital interest is, nor do you know what America's foreign policy is. But we do know, on the outside looking in, we see what this country is doing. We know that this country was born on racism. And we know, looking around the earth, and we see how America slips and slides like the snake. We notice that it is and does not give a care about dark countries where you find black people or any person of color. They go to these countries in order to exploit them like they have always done. And if you don't bow down to America, then they seek to destroy you. They want everybody to be their little puppet, their little slave. This country was built by liars, thieves, rapists and murderers. The forefathers of this country, they were the criminals of England. They put the criminals on England of England, put them on a boat, and if you make it, you make it. And if you make it, then whatever you accomplish, whatever you do is in the name of England. And the women, see, whoo, and the women were not 
pretty women. They were not, well, some of them might have been physically beautiful, but they were the harlots. They were the whores. They were the prostitutes from out of England. These were the type of women that were put on the ships and all the riffraff, all the riffraff of England, the criminals and the prostitutes of these women. Look it up. Do your research. I'm not telling you no fear. That's who the forefathers were. These were the original people that came here. It reminds you of the, what's that movie called? The Deadly Dozen. You had these people, I believe they were serving life sentences or something in prison. But if they joined the army and they took on some of the most dangerous missions, if they survived the dangerous missions, then they would be set free. These were criminals placed on a boat. They didn't have nothing to lose. They were in prison. They were in dungeons. Sent to America. If you make it, you make it. If you don't, you don't. I'm telling you. So here America is. They are the ultimate trickster. The wolf in sheep's clothing. Many of you, you are upset about what I'm talking to you about. Because from your view, you see a sheep. But there is a wolf under that sheepskin. These people, I live here, been living here with my eyes open. I see the wickedness of the government. I see the racism. I have been a victim of their racism. Nothing has changed. A greedy nation. That's why everybody's fat. A wasteful nation. Because they steal so much. So you have, you steal more than what you need. So you become wasteful. That's why Americans are fat. The children are fat. The dogs and the cats are fat in America. Oh, man. But now, your time is coming to a close because the world is beginning to see what America and Western civilization, what you're really about. And you have put yourself on a self-destructive path. And I don't think that you can be saved. But one thing for sure, and I warn and try to tell black folks or anybody with any kind of sense, this ship is one that you need to get the heck off. Jot down your comments. Thank you for listening. This is your brother, Taliki Mirai. This was and is the Realities Temple on Earth.